I've had a few requests from viewers of the uh, blog to see more about how my enclosure is set up and how it works and what some of the features are. So I thought I would do a quick video here to show you uh, both the enclosure and how it uh, incorporates some features of the tag mill and, and makes it uh, what I think is a pretty good solution for my situation. I'll start off here on the right. You can see I've got my controller and it's mounted here on the side. Um, what's great about that and I found it is very important is to have this emergency stop button right near uh, eye level so you can hit it if needed. Um, behind that are all the cables for the controller running to the mill into the computer. And if you look down in there, you can see that's where the uh, cable slots are milled into, or excuse me, just, or yeah, I guess milled into this piece of, uh, of plastic, which will allow the cables to go through the uh, mill enclosure, but not allow any chips out. So otherwise, uh, that helps keep all the chips in. On the top here, we've got a fluorescent light fixture, and if I just put the switch on there, you can see it gives off a great amount of light, um, and it's above the top of the enclosure, so it's protected from chips. I've also got a fan, which is an intake fan connected to the dryer vent hose to the motor, which helps keep it cool. Uh, you'd be surprised that uh, how, without that, how um, stale the air can get, and thus how hot because there's no circulation if you don't have some sort of a uh, venting solution. And the PVC piece up here is simply an exhaust for the vent. So now, if we open up the enclosure, you can see I've got two handles and the door free lifts. It's not that heavy and uh, I find it's not bad at all. It's going to catch into the two uh, <clears throat> locks up there, which are made by 8020 and they are, I'm not sure what the exact word is, but um, they are tension locks, so they click up and they hold the weight of the door up, but all I have to do to take the door down is just give it a hug and they open back up. So it's nice because it requires only uh, just a quick motion to open and close it. I've also got a couple of interim stops here that I can use if I want to keep the door open at a different height or just safety stops. So if for some reason one of the top latches was to ever have a problem, um, the mill door wouldn't come slamming down. You can see here these are the runners that the uh, mill door rises up and down on and then inside here you can see the mill. It does have a uh, floor which you can't see because of all the chips but um, it's a piece of the white version of the clear stuff on the side. The clear is a bit more expensive so the back and the bottom are, are made of the white opaque material and uh, that's about it. Definitely post a comment or shoot me an email. I've got an email now set up, which is nyccnc at gmail.com. With any questions, thanks, everybody.